Don't be a dummy. You watch UTTV. Anchorman Michael Badger, covering the Champaign-Urbana and East Peoria areas in Central Illinois. This is your news follower, News Deal, on UPTV6 and Eastside Community Television, Channel 22. Hello and welcome to News View. I'm Michael Badger. The East Peoria Times Courier at eastpeoriatimescourier.com says Senator Dick Durbin has met with East Peoria business leaders. According to Jeanette Kendall, after touring the Caterpillar Visitor Center August 8th, she says U.S. Senator Dick Durbin, Democrat of Illinois, made a stop at Embassy Suites to meet with the East Peoria officials and local business leaders there. During the meeting, business leaders each had one minute to pose a concern or question to Durbin. Concerns included the Affordable Care Act, unemployment, fossil fuel and electric, ge electrical generation, education, and workforce. Durbin talked about his meeting with Caterpillar Chairman and CEO Doug Oberman, Oberman and the Immigration Reform Bill. He also talked about funding for infrastructure. We've got to get back into the groove of funding for infrastructure, quote-unquote, Durbin said, adding that the Tea Party opposes the federal government being involved in this endeavor. Concerning electric power generation, Durbin said more and more companies are turning to other sources besides coal. Some are moving toward national, natural gas. The whole energy picture has changed so much. We are an exporter in the United States. Who would have guessed it, Durbin said. Local businessman Gary Uftring, who owns six car dealerships, told Durbin he has 430 employees. Uftring's office offers self-funded group insurance. Uh, Uftring has said he has seen firsthand some exorbitant insurance prices influencing a 30% increase in the last 12 months. Quote, if somebody needs government help, it's a 48-page process. I've been told by many other employers they are going to hire more part-timers unquote, Uftring said. In order to keep top-notch employees, Uftring said he needs to provide good benefits and retirement. He also said he doesn't want to raise the cost of his cars. Uftring said there are people on unemployment and food stamps who can't afford to get to take a $15 an hour job. Quote, Barack Obama seems to want to keep people dependent on the federal government, unquote, Uftring said. Tony Ignald, superintendent at District 86, said covering health care for employees becomes a struggle. Quote, I think we're doing a disservice to the quality we're providing our student if more part-timers have to be hired, in parentheses, it's always about more for less. Something has to give, unquote, he said. 
City Commissioner Gary Dinsberger, who works at CEFQ, said from the city's pr perspective, city leaders have an agreement with its employees for health insurance. It's a 50-50 split, Dinsberger said. Dinsberger said, uncertainty in the business world is a terrible thing, referring to how the Affordable Care Act will impact businesses. Quote, we're actually subtracting part-time workers because we can't train people in the hours allotted to keep them part-time, Dinsberger said. Due to the hours worked provision, Dinsberger said employees would want to move from full-time to part-time and would not be able to. And that is from the East Peoria Times Courier. And uh, it continues, Hours work provision will help will require us to offer them biz benefits as a part-time employee, which we can't do. So their alternative is employment if they have to go part-time. I think that's tragic to force someone to make the choice. If I want to go to a part-time job, I have to leave my employment, Densberger said. Durbin referenced some books during the meeting that he has read, including, quote, Citizens of London, unquote. The book, Durbin said, has the beginnings of Social Security in it. Quote, this is not new. We went through this with Social Security. We went through this with Medicare, and we're going to go through it with Obamacare. It reflects, it reflects human fra fra frailty. We are doing our, well, he says, um, you know, we are doing our, you know, with a huge economy issue in a huge country to change the most expensive health care system in the world the best and the most expensive. If we didn't do something, you would continue to subsidize uninsured people showing up at the hospital, quote, uh, unquote, Durbin said, adding there are six, 60 million people in the country with no health insurance. Turbin also talked about the flaw in the current system of how people with pre-existing conditions are not given health insurance. Quote, how many of the people with mental illnesses are rejected for health insurance pre-existing condition? Got anybody in your family with depression? Almost all of us do. You can't just exclude all those people from health care. So we said you can't exclude people for pre-existing conditions. Unquote, Durbin said, the only way that works is in the insurance program is if everybody gets insurance. Otherwise, insurance companies have all the risks, unquote. Durbin said the most important thing he has done as a senator was to help pass Obamacare. Quote, excuse me if you heard the old cliche, I believe the only perfect law that was ever written was written on stone tablets and carried down by Senator Moses. Everything else has been a good try and needs to be changed and needs to be improved. There's no difference with Obamacare. It's the most important single vote I've ever cast, and I'll do it again tomorrow. Quote, I think it's a serious mistake if we don't move forward with health care, 
for justice of the system, but also for the economics. 60%, 60% of our future deficits are health care costs, unquote, Durbin said. And in other news, Governor of Illinois, Governor Quinn, has announced a $996,000 investment for local airports, according to WEEK TV, TV 25 in Peoria. Governor Pat Quinn announced Thursday an investment of nine. $196,000 for local airports. The money is going towards construction projects at the Mount Holly Airport in Peoria and the Pekin Municipal Airport. Quote, investments in airports like these in Peoria and Pekin make them more efficient and safer while creating construction jobs, Governor Quinn said. Quote, the Illinois Jobs Now proje project will continue to ensure that Illinois has a strong 21st century infrastructure, unquote. The Illinois Department of Transportation Division of Aeronautics will help manage both projects, which include federal and state funding. At Peoria's Mount Hale Airport, Phase one of the T-Hanger taxiway rehabilitation will be done for $581,960. At the Pekin Municipal Airport, the pavement on the airport's west apron will be rehabilitated for $415,664. And Judge Judy's son is suing a New York sheriff. According to Liz Rattery of WMBF News, District Attorney Adam Levy, who is the son of Judge Judy star Judith Shilin, Shindlin, is suing a local sheriff in New York for $5 million, claiming that the sheriff interfered in a child rape case. In the lawsuit against County Sheriff Donald Smith, Levy described Smith as, quote, an out-of-control sheriff who doesn't care about the truth, unquote, says the Associated Press. Smith alleged that Levy had ongoing and inappropriate involvement in the case against Levy's close friend and former personal trainer, Alexandru Husu, who is accused of raping a 13-year-old girl and is pleaded not guilty. Levy maintains that the rescued, that he rescued himself from the case upon hearing that Husu was involved, according to the AP. Quote, Mr. Levy's comments and actions would seem to suggest that if he could have his own way, Mr. Husu, or Husu would never have been brought to justice for his crime and Mr. Levy's relationship with him would never have been brought to the light of public scrutiny, unquote. Smith, who is running for re-election in November, said in a statement in March, defense attorneys are looking to have the case against Husu dismissed, according to the AP. Scheinman weighed in on the issues this week, quote, his moral compass is dead center, unquote. She said in a statement, says the AP, quote, when someone attacks his character professionally or personally, they have the best to be prepared, they have best be
be prepared to back it up. Shut up or pay up. Unquote. And we'll be back with more News View after this break. And now, another adventure with Savings Man. Look, honey, the neighbors just bought a big screen TV. Hey, I just got a bonus at work. Maybe we should get one, too. Hold on there. Savings Man. Using your bonus to secure your future by paying down debt or saving is a better way to go. Well, I declare you're right, Savings Man. Stay ahead by choosing to save. And don't worry about keeping up with the Joneses. But their name is Johnson. For more tips and tools, visit choosetosave.org today. <laughs> Sure, I'd love a cure, but not if it means cloning and destroying human lives to harvest their stem cells. After all, you and I began as tiny human embryos too. Using our tax dollars to end the lives of developing human beings is unethical. Besides, there are other stem cell sources that don't kill human lives. These have already treated or cured thousands of patients. Guess how many treatments and cures there have been using human embryonic stem cells? None. Learn the facts today. Public Access Newscast. Well, Friday to tonight, uh, today, uh, marked WAND TV Channel 17 in Decatur, Illinois, 60th anniversary. We wish them well at, I wish them well at WAND, and here's to another 60 years, maybe. And um, the next story, well, before the next story, you can email me at newsview at email.com or you can reach me on Twitter at badgermedia123 or at newsview, Urbana, or you could also go to at anti-tvbugs on Twitter and read my postings at any of those. Okay, according to Reuters, Wall Street drops weighed by Walmart Cisco. By Havoli Cooper of Reuters, Walmart shares fell 2.3% to $74.62 after the discount retailer posted disappointing same-store sales and missed revenue estimates for a fifth consecutive quarter. The company also lowered its revenue and profit forecasts for the year. Quote, the Walmart earnings report is as big as a Marco indicator as gross domestic product data, said Nicholas Colvis, chief market strategist at Convergence X, Convergex Group in New York. Quote, it shows that consumer spending isn't that strong yet, inflation is rising, wages are not, unemployment is still pretty high, and that's not a recipe for a strong retail environment, unquote. Consumer prices rose 
broadly in July, and new claims for jobless benefits fell to a near six-year low last week, which could draw the Fed closer to trimming its $85 billion monthly bond buying program. The stimulus measures have lifted stock markets this year and kept interest rates low. On Thursday, U.S. Treasury yields hit two-year highs as market participants focused on how soon the Fed will scale back its stimulus program in the wake of more encouraging data. The technology sector was the biggest laggard in the S&P 500, weighed by a slump of shares in Cisco Systems, and the network equipment maker said Wednesday it will send, it will shed 4,000 jobs or 5% of its workforce to reduce costs. Shares declined 7.2% to 24 dollars and 47 cents as a slew of brokerages cut their price targets on the stock. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 213.78 points or 1.39 percent to 15,123.88 the S&P 500 lost 23.69 points or 1.41 percent to 1,661.7 and the NASDAQ composite dropped 59.244 points or 1.61 percent to 3,610.03. Trading volume has been low, as it tends to be in August, and will likely continue to be lackluster as earnings season winds down. One of the few bright spots in retail earnings was Kohl's, which reported a rise in quarterly same-store sales, sending its stock up 5.5% to $53.65. Billionaire investor George Soros added another $2 million shares to his already large investment in um, Billionaire investor George Soros added another 2 million shares to his already large investment in struggling retailer J.C. Penney, a recent regulatory filing showed. The retailer's stock was up 3.6% at $13.59. And and according to WANDTV.com, Channel 17 in Decatur, Illinois, Dateline Springfield, police are searching for suspect invo- suspects involved in three burglar- burglaries. Security video pulled from quote-unquote dude saloon and JW's lounge showed two different men robbing the taverns. The crimes happened on August 3rd, 6th, and 7th. Police are asking for your help to find the suspects. If you have any information about these crimes, call Crime Stoppers at 788-8427. And that about does it for News on News View. Stay tuned for the weather after this break.
capital advisories to small business loans, product recalls to home buying tips, government car auctions to finding a new job. Whether you have information to get or ideas to give, go to the official source, USA.gov. And here's your Central Illinois forecast of weather for um, August 16th, 17th, and 18th, 2013. Friday night, a low temperature of 55 degrees Fahrenheit under partly cloudy skies. Saturday, mostly sunny, 79. Saturday night, low of 60. Sunday, 81 degrees and mostly sunny skies. And Sunday night, partly cloudy and a low of 62. This has been your Central Illinois weather forecast for August 16th, 17th, and 18th, 2013 on Newsview. Aquifer is the sole public water supply in East Central Illinois. The only one. This underground reservoir supplies millions of gallons of water each day to families, homes, businesses, and farms. There's no other practical way to get another source of water for our area. No other way. We need to protect our water supply from possible contamination and chemical pollution. That's why we're asking the EPA for more safeguards to better protect the area's sole source of clean water. Contact the EPA and let them know how you feel about protecting your water supply. If we don't act now, 
future generations may not have access to clean water. People like our grandchildren. Together we can make a difference. Will you help? Please visit our website or call to learn more.